So let us talk about subject verb agreement. So whenever you write a sentence, you uh, formulate a sentence, you must make sure, you need to make sure that the subject and the verb, they agree. So if the subject is a singular noun or the pronoun, like he, she or it, so noun or pronoun, you need a singular verb, means he, she, it, this is singular. So we need to use singular verbs like she she enjoys music she enjoys music and she shares her book with her friends the zookeeper is is feeding see the zookeeper is feeding children are playing on the swings the earth moves around the sun dad always drives to work the clerk is wrapping a package does even know the answer Mom has bought a dress for Sarah and it is snowing. And what about plural verb? You need to use a plural verb if the subject is a plural noun or the pronoun we, they and you. Means the two uh, girls always walk home together. All birds lay eggs. The children are playing on the swing. The stars shine brightly on a clear night mom and dad love us a lot do you all know the words we have finished our games of tennis and they have both worked very hard these collective nouns this may be used with either singular or plural so if the group members are all acting together as one use a singular verb but if the members of the group are acting individuals, acting as individuals, we use a plural verbs. How? The audience are laughing. The, all of them are laughing. The band, all of them are playing. Our team has won. Singular means that family has moved to Texas. The team is coached by Mr. Clark. This is a complete family. This is a complete team. While plural, the family was giving their opinions. The family were the family was not giving their opinion, but actually the family because everyone is doing their own work. So family were giving their opinions. The team are sharing new ideas. So some plural nouns like people, cattle, and police. They don't end with S. You don't have polices or cattles or peoples. We, we always use a plural verb with these nouns. For example, people like to be praised. The cattle are in the field. The police have caught the thief. The police has caught the thief will not work. Have caught the thief. So let us have an ex exercise. Fill the blanks with the verbs that matches the subject. And use a correct form of simple present tense of the verbs in the parenthesis. So I always dash to school with my brother. I always go to school with my brother. I will not use went. Mark always dash to school with his brother. Mark always dash. Again we will use go. Mark always go to school with his brother. You know the answer. You if uh, you can also use you knew the answer. If the it depends on where you are uh, using the sentence, then Louis knew the answer too. And no will also work. You know the answer. Louis knew the answer too. Louis knew. So you know the answer. Louis knew the answer to this book dash very few drawings this book has this book has very few drawing these books dash lot of beautiful drawing this these books have here has here have lots of beautiful drawing and b sister and a you know what this b is so we'll use is Na is my sister. Pat and Alice dash good at English. Pat and Alice are good at English. 
Now, second exercise, fill in the blanks with verbs that match the subjects and use the correct form of the simple present tense of the verbs in the parenthesis. A tiger is roaring. A tiger is roaring. All birds lay eggs. Dad dash listening to music. Dad likes to or uh, likes to means it is not going to work like so. so dad like listening to music. So if you if you are uh, tempted to use dad uh, likes to listening to music that is not going to work and dad is liking listening to music no dad likes likes listening to music likes uncle bob dash his car every day uncle bob washes his car every day she dash all the answers she knew all the answers there dash 12 months in a year there are there are b means is are this all this so the there are 12 months in a, a year the twins often fight only for often fight they often fight and uh, our parents love us our parents love us so this was about uh, the agreement between a verb and a noun thank you so much take care